In this short video, I will show you how to set up the Agilent 3000 X-Series oscilloscope to trigger on and decode LIN serial bus signals. Let's begin. Here we show a 19.2 kilobit per second LIN signal using the scope's default setup condition. Let's begin by pressing Auto Scale and then Rescale the time base. The scope is currently triggering on random rising edges. To decode this bus, first press the serial front panel key and then select the LIN decode mode. Then press the signal soft key in order to select the appropriate baud rate. The scope is now decoding this bus, but the scope is still just triggering on any random rising edge. To establish a more unique trigger condition, press the scope's front panel trigger key and then change from triggering on any edge crossing to trigger on lens signals. The default LIN trigger condition is to trigger on sync breaks of any frame. First, note the fast decode update rate. This is possible with Agilent's unique hardware-based decoding. Besides triggering on sync break conditions, the scope provides other LIN trigger conditions to choose from. Let's select a trigger on a frame with a specific ID. Then dial in to trigger on a frame ID value, in this case, 21 hex. We have now established a stable trigger condition on this specific frame. What you see below the waveform is the time correlated decode trace. This particular data frame has a frame ID of 21 followed by data contents, and then followed by the checksum field. In addition to viewing the time-correlated decode trace below the waveform, we can also view the same information in a tabular format with clearly labeled columns of data that directly correlate to the fields of decoded data shown in the time-correlated decode trace below the waveform. To learn more about Agilent's Finivision X-Series oscilloscopes, contact your local Agilent distributor and ask for a demonstration.